In the realm of advanced airliners, the Airbus A350 Extra Wide Body, or XWB and Boeing 787 Dreamliner stand out as the industry's leading aircraft. They are both celebrated for their innovative technologies and performance, but they differ in design philosophy, range capabilities, and operational efficiencies. Find out in this episode of Flag Avia how are they different and similar, and more important, which is the best aircraft? History. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which first flew in 2009, was designed to meet the demand for more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. In response, Airbus launched the A350 in 2013. The aircraft was originally planned as an upgraded A330 with new engines and improved aerodynamics. However, Airbus soon realized that a slightly enhanced A330 couldn't compete with the all-new composite fuselage Dreamliner. Consequently, the 350 evolved into the 350XWB featuring a composite fuselage paired with metal wing. Boeing, an American aerospace company, produces the 787 Dreamliner, while Airbus, a European multinational aerospace corporation, manufactures the A350XWB. Each company brings its own expertise and design philosophy to their aircraft. Cockpit in terms of cockpit design, the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 are both equipped with sophisticated glass cockpits that are the epitome of modern avionics innovation. The 787's cockpit retains a classic Boeing layout, offering a sense of familiarity for pilots transitioning from the company's earlier aircraft models. It features a clean, intuitive design with large, customizable display screens, an electronic light bag, and a heads-up display that projects vital flight information onto the windshield, allowing for seamless integration of information and control. Airbus takes a different approach with the uh, 350, where the cockpit is designed with a futuristic vision, prioritizing ergonomic comfort and employing the latest in fly-by-wire technology. The uh, A350's cockpit is characterized by its side stick controllers and a suite of large LCD screens that present a comprehensive view of flight and system data, thereby reducing pilot workload and enhancing overall flight safety. In terms of flight control philosophy, Boeing's design philosophy leans toward giving pilots more manual control, fostering an engaged flying experience where the pilot's hands-on input is central to the aircraft's operation. Conversely, Airbus focuses on automation, with the A350's advanced computerized systems designed to minimize pilot workload. The fly-by-wire technology in Airbus aircraft allows for a more automated flight experience, where computer systems play a significant role in managing the aircraft's performance, thus enhancing operational safety and efficiency. Engines both the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350 are outfitted with state-of-the-art engines that excel in power, fuel economy, and dependability. The Dreamliner is powered by either the General Electric GENX or the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines, which are lauded for their fuel-saving technologies and cutting-edge design. The GENX engine integrates novel materials to enhance efficiency and reduce emissions, while the Trent 1000 is renowned for its dependable performance over long distances. Conversely, the A3 350XWB boasts the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines, tailored specifically for this model, offering impressive thrust and fuel efficiency. The Pratt & Whitney PW4000 engine, though rarer, is also recognized for its dependable and efficient operation. Both aircraft are equipped with these robust and economical engines, bolstering their operational prowess and performance. Cabin Cabin width is a key factor in passenger comfort, and the A350XWB surpasses the 787 Dreamliner with its wider fuselage. The A350 boasts a cabin width of approximately 5.61 meters or 220 inches, compared to the 787's 5.49 meters or 216 inches. Both aircraft offer various cabin configurations to meet the needs of different airlines and passengers, but the 350XWB's wider fuselage allows for more flexible seating arrangements and cabin layouts. In terms of maximum passenger capacity, the A350XWB generally accommodates more passengers than the 787 Dreamliner. Its wider cabin permits more spacious seating configurations, with the A350XWB seating around 300 to 440 passengers depending on the variant and configuration. In contrast, the 787 Dreamliner typically seats between 242 and 330 passengers depending on the variant and seating layout. Range 
When it comes to range and performance, both aircraft are adept at flying long distances efficiently. However, the range is more of an important positive that favors a 350 since it generally has a slightly longer range, covering 8,000 to 9,700 nautical miles compared to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner's range of 6,432. 7,850 nautical miles. This greater range offers airlines more flexibility in route planning and network expansion. Consequently, the A350 has become a favored choice for airlines aiming to expand their route networks to new frontiers. For instance, Singapore Airlines utilizes it for the world's lengthiest commercial passenger journey from the United States to Singapore. Looking ahead, the 350 series may also play a pivotal role in Qantas's ambitious project Sunrise. Price. Price is a significant factor for airlines when selecting aircraft. Generally, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner has a lower purchase price compared to the Airbus uh, 350XWB. The 787's price typically ranges from $200 to $250 million, while the A350XWB ranges from $280 to $330 million. This price difference stems from various factors, including manufacturing costs, materials used, and overall design complexity. However, the total cost of ownership, including operating expenses and maintenance, can vary based on fuel efficiency, maintenance intervals, and residual value. Airlines consider both the initial purchase price and long-term operating costs when deciding on fleet acquisitions. Up to date, Boeing has delivered over 1,127 units of the 787 Dreamliner since its launch, with orders from more than 80 airlines worldwide. Airbus has also seen success with the A350XWB, delivering 602 units and securing orders from over 30 customers. Both aircraft fiercely compete for market share in the wide body segment, reflecting their popularity and impact on long-haul air travel. The Airbus A350XWB comes in two variants. The A350-900, which seats around 325 passengers and offers a range of 8,000 to 9,700 nautical miles, and the larger A350-1000, which accommodates up to 440 passengers with a range of approximately 7,700 to 8,000 thousand nautical miles. The 787 Dreamliner family includes the 787-8, seating 242 passengers with a range of 7,355 to 7,635 nautical miles. The 787-9, seating up to 290 passengers with a range of 7,530 to 7,635 nautical miles. And the 787-10, accommodating around 330 passengers with a range of 6,345 to 6,430 nautical miles. Raw numbers. Comparing these modern wide bodies head-to-head -head in raw numbers, the maximum capacity for the Airbus A350 is 480, while for the Boeing 787 it is 440. The overall length of the Airbus A350 is 73.78 meters, while for the Boeing 787 it is 68.28 meters. The uh, 350 has more fuel capacity with 164 tons, compared to the 787's 126 tons. The cruise speed for the A350 is Mach 0 0.85 or 903 kilometers kilometers per hour, and its maximum speed is Mach 0 0.89 or 950 kilometers per hour. On the other hand, for the 787, the cruise speed is Mach 0 0.85 or 903 kilometers per hour, and the maximum speed is Mach 0 0.90 or 956 kilometers per hour. The range of the A350 is up to 8,700 nautical miles, while for the 787, it is 6,330 nautical miles. The maximum takes off weight of the 350 is 319 tons and the 787s is 254 tons. The service ceiling for the A350 is 41,450 feet compared to the 787s 43,000 feet. Identification to distinguish between the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350XWB from the outside, note the following visual cues. The Boeing 787 has a pointy nose, while the Airbus A350 has a more rounded nose. The cockpit windows of the 787 are angular and elongated, whereas those of the A350 are rounded with a smoother curve. Looking at the wingtips, the 787s are raked or swept upward significantly, while the A350s are more squared or have a slight downward tilt.
The tail fin of the 787 has a pronounced swept back design in comparison to the A350's tail fin, which stands more upright or straight. The engine shape differs. The 787's engines are generally rounder, while the A350's engines have a more angular or flattened look, which varies with the engine maker. Finally, the 350 has a tail camera, and this is a delightful extra for aviation fans who enjoy observing the aircraft during takeoff. Similarities Besides the differences, the two aircraft types also share striking similarities, with both boasting twin engines, wide bodies, and a modern aesthetic characterized by sleek noses and wings that distinguish them from older models. Internally, they mirror each other with adjustable colored LED-lit cabins that enhance the ambience based on weather conditions, time, or flight phases. The customization of the cabin, including seating and branding, is at the discretion of the respective airlines. Beyond aesthetics, both planes are constructed with over 50% carbon fiber reinforced polymers, or CFRP, surpassing the durability of traditional aluminum. This advanced material allows for higher cabin pressurization, significantly enhancing passenger comfort. If you've experienced a flight on either the 787 or a 350, you'll likely have observed the remarkably smooth journey they provide, especially during extended flights. Concluding, overall, considering all these aspects, determining which aircraft is superior is contingent on the specific needs and objectives of the airline in question. The uh, 350 excels in terms of range, making it the preferred choice for airlines operating the longest flight. On the other hand, the 787 may be the more cost-effective choice for carriers with shorter routes. Although the two aircraft share many similarities, they also have distinct differences, with the uh, 350 often being positioned as a competitor to the Boeing 777. Interestingly, the industry trend shows an increasing number of airlines comparing the 787 with the A350 for their long-haul fleets. Despite this, both aircraft have the potential to serve different roles within the same airline's operations.